Yat down, Jonoritz, a lay, yat in, he needed a little, not in, in Zradin, I saw Craigie, a hen, he needed a little, see, go, she hill, and Jonago had the pino, ah, when he gu gibe the nutchet, a hen, the late Horia, ah, not in the yat, eight or hen, base master, unhon, I saw Craigie, hen, he needed a little, Aro Shaket, the Satanagi, Rochelle, Mantoya, yat eight or hen. Aro a large Nahui Ahi so so Hehan the Ni Ni the Lazi Ego Joan Jane Dogati Ahido Naho Ahi Dano Sinigi Horoshi Ilim Aro Nat Ani Shit Sat Dano Sen Tat Naz Nelido Old Traben and Tad Kui Ushi Nat Ani Dano Sinigi Hehan Kedini Dolis Aro Sot Ode Ah Yunha is the Yo Trojedo Ishi P Trojan Nat Ani the Diet Lenigi Eslo Hehan Dolis Again, first and foremost, I just I just want to say welcome to the People's State of the Nation. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you to the Navajo people, the Navajo Nation employees, Vice President Rochelle Montoya, and members of the 25th Navajo Nation Council. Yeah. And thank you to Chief Justice Joanne Jane, and division directors, and local officials, and visiting dignitaries, and our leaders of our many, many enterprises and businesses across the Navajo Nation. Yeah. First, I'd like to acknowledge my wife, Jasmine Blackwater Nigren. She has continuously supported me through my first year as president. Many of you know First Lady served as an Arizona State Representative. So, First Lady of the Navajo Nation. She brought those skills back to the nation to spearhead several initiatives to provide much needed resources to our Navajo women, children, and unsheltered relatives. To, say, to her, I say thank you. I also want to say thank you to the Navajo Public Safety, our counties, our state, and Navajo Transportation Department for the resources for the emergency needs for this past week's snowstorm. I have encouraged them to continue to get ready for Thursday as well. And I say thank you. You're out there clearing our roads and checking on our people out in the areas that have been affected. I am Dr. Boo Nigren, President of the Navajo Nation. I am red running into the Water People Clan, born for Southern Vietnamese people. My grandfather, my, on my mom's side, is Bitter Water People Clan, and my paternal grandfather is Southern Vietnamese people. So it's been over one year since I took office. When I arrived, the nation was struggling from the effects of COVID-19 pandemic that led businesses to business closures, strained healthcare workers, psychological impacts and disruptions in education and government services. It exposed the vulnerabilities of inadequate broadband infrastructure, which impacted remote learning and telehealth uh, communication services. Washington, 
Dispute, despite these difficulties, my administration focused on recovering, rebuilding, seizing opportunities for growth and improvement. Our vision was to reawaken and reopen the Navajo Nation government to make sure that our people had access to meaningful services on a day-to-day -day basis. Today, we have encountered and obligated 57% of our ARPA award, and we have continuously met with the Navajo Nation Council and their support, and we have a plan to make sure that we ensure we maximize these dollars. The Washington, ah, si peso, ah, you not the meal, so, toba, ah, nikit ah, yeah. In my first 100 days to reopen the government, my staff worked to reopen 15 child care centers and expanded hours to run from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I lifted the mask mandates. We worked to reopen almost 110 chapters closed during the pandemic. We ended remote work for essential workers so that they can better serve our people. So today I'm here to say that we are bouncing and we have a bright path of a future to build. Accomplishments. I know a lot of you came today to, to realize what have we accomplished. One of my main key campaign promises was to develop a strong economy to support economic growth and entrepreneurship. My team has streamlined laws, secured substantial federal funds to support our businesses and move substantial revenue generating projects forward. Modernizing our practice for the first time. 20 years, we updated the Navajo Business Opportunity Act, the Navajo Nation Procurement Act, the Navajo Nation government and businesses will operate more efficiently. The 
Kelchin don, Kesso Kedananis, Yishwatole, Halet, all at the Nebo Washington, the Arts East or the Peso, Sitch, Hoto, Neat, Oro Ebeni, Natch, Nanigi, Eh, Nasi, Kras, Asta, Natina, Hedoma, Anto, Hanan, Ego, Eh, I, Yusupin, Dashi, listen so, a head, but they need the little thought, Pespa, Excuse me for going between Navajo and English. <laughs> DED completed amendments to the nation's 2008 business site lease administrative and management plan in November. And that plan is going to go before the Navajo Nation Council for their approval. So there's more work ahead of us. And I want to say thank you to the Navajo Nation Council for the past year of collaborating, working together, and making things happen. Dinde. Kaya but Kahodo, so again, Ahuan Zuno, but has other late Hanenigi, a sock and double knee, cars, base was an unappeasing day, Nisho, Dohanan Eid and the late two thousand eight, then Dunle, Hotta Hot Kaigibich, that the Yahada, Ah, Hotta, then Nanel in Kachi, Zuno, the dog, and stole Beni Nachewa, Neshi, Kaya but Kahodo, so Hanegi, Eshi Baba Yego, Baba Honet, Zaro Lit, no, base was uncadin, the Hado Lit, Arashi Hoja, Sheb, Kesa Zero Lit. SSBCI funding. Last week, the nation was approved for 89 million under the United States Department of Treasury State Small Business Credit Initiative. This will provide assistance to small business owners and tribal governments over a 10-year period. This, the first 30 million, is slated to be distributed this year. Dishinle Washington, the Moyeta, Hone La. A star eighty nine million over on kitchen hotel, Nish, Ayan, Hachindo, Banan, Nishian, Sida, Kesigi, Halet, Ola, Bata, Nil, Tobin, Nachasi, Yego, Enal, Tada, Hoya, Hoda, O, Pitch, Babohon, Zaro, Lit, Hatnegi, Aye, Bela, Asli, Aro, Dick, and Naho, Tadin, the Mil, Sa, Hone, Lashi, Ben, Dadi, Nishin, Nana, Hagi. Seven million has been committed to change labs to implement two loan programs for Navajos and businesses. change labs, but seven million change labs Using ARPA dollars, DED will relaunch the ARPA Economic Relief Hardship Program this month with an grant options for Navajo-owned businesses, sole proprietors, and sheep herders and weavers. The Division of Economic Development, the best share of no pay, Kashi share of the yoga dashan Nahani here. Ah, see ye go shinest, ah, that don't nene, dick and des, the doshin, ah, not natural. As she thought ye go, pan that not ha, and get the better holonigi don't out oggy, eh, person, ha holodo lit, ah, see ye go, or lit. Revenue generating projects. At the former NGS site, we entered into a business site lease with Zenny Homes to convert several businesses into warehouse space to manufacture fabricated modular homes. Over 110 Navajo workers now work at that site. Our goal, oh yes, I see The net is niche. Our goal is for Zenny Homes to restore the 800 jobs lost from the NGS closure. Aro Hadna Nishin Sagi, they yos, they give Bedinit, Shohe, 
800 hone lango de net de nitrea si yego bohone zarule that is called do nacho holiaya dang de netacha halet ola shamaba sanabaka na de shwat halet ola bekashi but otaban nahitesh neha nene kadeshin jono na da inishtule do pest o ha wanchi aro otas let do it i don't shouldn't shouldn't hit the neh ha wansa nahitesh nzoi do a yo da illiter ah si yego dan jone do dan chiligi ha wanita let do eshi pan kista ho jo Gouldings Lodge. In October, I signed into law a resolution to purchase Gouldings Monument Valley Lodge. This project is expected to bring in $7.3 million in revenue on a yearly basis and maintain 280 local jobs. ขวายนั่นนั่นเดซิโดมาอายันตามชื่อเจ็บไข้ชลาเบสบาสอันยืนนั่นตาอัศลีฮาเลตโอลาที่อินเจียสบายาที่กี่40มิลลิญยานนั
IHS, Anakin, Washington, but as Anaki, Hajo, Asah, Hilton Day, this Ean Nehi, Hodi Dohone, Tehi, the Net Hobbia, the Halt Eto, the Hanaki, Eshi Hoto, the Quigo, the Nekeda had Enigi, Alamo, Smith Lake, that, that, Enigi, Baby Cardo, what hot no, late Hoda, Hajo, Bahayani, Twin Chon, Nzuno, and Nagi, Yon, 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 Chago, but in Daz, out, those need no, but they need niche. Navajo EPA is laying the groundwork for additional water projects for 2024, including the approval of ARPA requests for fund for water line connections, residential systems, community lagoons, drinking water, treatment structures, and wastewater treatment plants. Navajo EPA Ani Donald Sos, Nasco, Dano Teho, Cadet, the Net Hotchon, Baha Sabajin, Ohodo, Nito, Toya, Ilo, Haish Ebina, Habit, Nahot, Hatnoya, eh, Yindar Nish. Sadazena Creek, at the day the dots, and I don't get nice, see? Navajo Gallup Water Supply. We've had an important development in water rights negotiation. We've advanced the Navajo Gallup Water Supply Project Amendments. That's a bipartisan bill introduced by the New Mexico Senator Lujan. To complete this project is an estimated cost of 2.1 million. This project will serve 43 chapters, a future population of 250 in New Mexico once it passes Congress and signed into law by the United States President. <laughs> Washington or Santa Star Hunter, but it's near Sieg, Peso, but Ohegi, Hoje, a day, one Senator Luhan, but the Nenegi, Shanant Ash, Horehe, Ayego, but Kessens, Peso, and Kitchen Hot Yag, eh, ah, how you, the Nepe, the Net Hobbyard, or the Egibin, Nanosh Camp, but the snow, Baba, Nastaha, Nastaha, number the Sieg, and eh, Shanant Ab, the snow, Eshe, Landa, a slate, or the Honaho, the Caesar Sedias, Sladin, Hahozo, Kennedy, but not President Biden. She was just a little bit around the base on which all those little ones go. Not all the little, not all the naive go. Too yet to learn about the little ones. So what? Oh, Ben Dalenish. This amendment authorizes water delivery through the Navajo Gallup Water Supply Project to Navajo communities in Utah as well as part of the implementation of the Navajo Utah Water Settlements Act. This is not total issue to the Hoja New Mexico, the Nekeda had energy in the cheap toji, a thought the Nekeda had energy, a she is not a best of it, had a test on a stop but how she is not. I just thought the net up but Tobich and Hoda does neither a hot over car store. What Arizona water rights settlement? Our attorneys have commit, continued to work due diligently to secure Arizona water rights settlements. This negotiation been, has been in the works since the 1970s. We expect proposed legislation to go before the Navajo Nation Council in February before it goes to congressional authorization. Shaho, Halitoda, Dona Hashi, the Chido, who did Dohun Slehenda by Yat, Dihoja, see Tobit at Neat, Nat, and it as Hada did, ah, the Kuchina, Kanda, Bebas, and the Set, the Dahas, Tanido, Shehoja did, I, Toyin, Dal Nesigi, Juno, Sada Dest, Ado, Oze, the Net and Lenigi, Juno, Ski, Kago Eshin, Juno, Ben Nasco, did he call? The Kushina is not Latina, Banahaton, Adinda Ashi Yego, Hone La, the Ne, Tobe Bohotni, Hotel Nidabe, to Nahot, Eosa Hoja, Tobe Nada, the Lidnish, Hosdo Hot Roger, the Neke, the Hatinigi. It is time to get this done. As time goes by, there is less and less water on the table to negotiate. This remains as one of my highest priorities. Anidia Shanahatagan's Badahausen, Yedes Kad and Sahakis, 
foto hon no e do hon ta hon ni tlora e bini na a si ye go a te tena a te tena ge ti es kada di a apa hazine hon e la tena tobe de te ho do ni re e an ne hi do le le as la na na khe ne na 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 khe na ti na na khe e e to si to ta 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 ho ne na so to thun khe de te dan khe do ni bini na ni ge adinta khajos ka te sta to le washington na ta ni pe be has ani ta yo zo ge ye la ta asli ge ne jon do le kha no ye pe de ni ni e shi ho to ba ho da no sin do le <clears throat> NECA Water Lines. The Navajo Engineering and Construction Authority has made significant progress to complete more than 72 miles of water lines this past year to residents in Loop, Delcon, Tenohoto, and Hawk. Dia Tenebakea Bakat de Nishigi NECA. Couldn't <laughs> Electricity. Related to electricity, the Division of Natural Resources spearheaded efforts to complete $950,000 of a six mile power line extension from Tis Nazpas to the Four Corners Monument, allowing families along the route to get connected to electricity. <laughs> Igi asi yego ba heta nitsin natural resources asi peso be lata do sligi do bin da sos nitsigi a hehen ke dini do hashi netande kachi asno kata desk asi gi bin nitsi shi ya das le bitchi si da desk as asi so bitchi das an shi aya hot eo hawano neta de sin son horoban sis kes Through the Chid Block Grant Program, our Community Development Office completed a 13-mile electrical line extension project in Delcon, a $1.1 million project to benefit 23 households. DCD completed an 11-mile electrical line extension in Greasewood Springs, a one-mile project to deliver electricity to 16 households since June. Division of Community Development, Ah, see, yego, ah, we chant and then yet so that there's in Nepal, not that, ah, dot, so there's in double, not a hat, ah, how lush is your adult, it at all, nene, ah, how you to never car dash what Delcon, the neck, the hat, any key, Greece would, ah, how you can see the ne, Aroshi had to ask his da, da, oh, she, eh, and here's to, yeah, John, eh, and hard it, eh, the ne, yeah, bad it, ah, which, ah, eh, ban, so they kiss, so, eh, hot, oh, she, bah, hot, and no, single leg. These projects created nearly 40 temporary Navajo jobs. Start this thing, the nen das nish. Beni nache si en da hasni, et so tan da hasni, a thoda si bin da has ka. Shalchen na da ini thaygi beni nache halet o la baka des ho ho da ni da si e ho o njono the nen das nish. E beni nante si na nish ho lo e ayat e hashet o e ke kaya baka to. Hashet o e nashchen nik e da dan lenigi beni nache e ho o di na nish ha de chegi a si ba hensen. NTU, NTUA has made great strides and has connected over 400 homes this year to electricity and completed 88 solar connections. How one be basically cheap by delta. I don't see so as a chinny as a mado a chedo, eh? The quishy so honey, not a hat, eh? Ebbet zilo dash, what again to you, eh? 
bandas nishgi shehe dan kri ni dolesh e so hote laj banant an lingi shishya na hatta shishya na hatta khalet ol shikha anand ho tir de ne washington ban na hunt agi na chesha huin sino edi an ne hi de ne ba da il te to le shno e hoto benel nish in tua ceo walter hart he visits my office very frequently and he always challenges me. President, you want me to go connect those families? You need to get out of the way. Let's push those papers forward. That's when Mike Colonna and the Natural Resources and EPA, we work tirelessly together to make sure our focus is connecting our people to power. Capital projects. We have queued up 80 New Mexico projects totaling 47 million to begin this spring. This includes, again, water, power lines, maintenance and water wells, heavy equipment, maintenance to education and veteran buildings, and improvements to warehouse. Hojiye, Division of Economic Development, because anagi diye njgonogo New Mexico. So hojiye la se tabenant a nkhani yagi the New Mexico Secretary of Indian Affairs. Hone nkhani ya e njgonogo bestein besteini nish are peso nke chona zengi aron so ane kene ke peso bolt ka halat olat ski so hat nenagi e ya 47 million hone lashi. Housing. Last year, I made a very, very bold statement. I said, I want to build 1,000 homes during my administration with one goal in mind to get homes built for our people. Hohot era asla de mil yaje hone la de nebe kaya bakao hawan dadi ne khodo ni den dasodo tsa che ya asla ni tande che de ise asla ni ni ne do bone tsa de ne she khait o asla de mil yaje din ne chodo ni ra shin de nen dai des kit jonat ani jillo en leden se ze kis Ara khorosha dez nechigi nikipeta nos ano biga ta nos soe an nehi do lech ha noye eye banda siti. This initiative cast a wide net and welcome anyone who aspired to build homes for our people, including representatives from every facet of our community, including school districts, hospital elderly care providers, private citizens, tribal programs, our tribal enterprises like NTUA and NHA. If I missed anybody else in here, I just want to say thank you to our leaders of the Navajo Nation Council. Our goal was to target specific challenges preventing them from building homes in private and public sectors. Homes or housing renovations that have been identified to be fast-tracked and built during my administration. ほどてへんななほんたしてのあろうたせたしょへびがねほどなっちゃでよしあろしいほんわんねえなんでんねえかのやつなへしいたんえしぺんじこのごほなほてへてくしいほんわんだはしねろかでやいたんねえなんぺ
We had to come to, 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 together to make sure that we promote the best interests of our people, first and foremost. Just to name a few, 200 homes are being planned by DCD. 100 homes are being planned for low-income families by DCD. 60-unit apartment complex style by NHA. A 25 multifamily apartment complex by Navajo Townsite Community Development Corporation. 30 employee housing units by NTUA. 26 employee housing by the Division of General Services. 16 general transitional living homes by Department of Health. 56 home improvements by Navajo Hopi Land Commission. And then 30 by your very own employee housing for Window Rock School District. 35 housing units for Chinle Unified School Districts. We will continue to add to this list, meet our goal of 1,000 homes built or renovated during my administration. Ah, <laughs> To ease housing development, we have shared information through Facebook Live on a weekly basis on home site leases. We will continue to do public outreach events like the 2024 One Stop Shop Housing Conference and the home site lease application that you can see online now and the check on existing applications. <laughs> James June, we know how to bless real good. Ah, sit A month ago, we launched an online home site lease application for natural resources so that you can do it online. Speaking of home site leases, I know growing up, this year, we have approved 500 home site leases all across Navajo land. I'm hoping it's double next year, so I challenge the vision of natural resources. Let's approve a thousand home site leases over the next year. And I just want to say thank you to the home site lease team to doing what they can to get those 500 across the board because that's working with people that barely have enough to pay for survey, barely enough for biological and arc, but you guys are doing what you can to support them and empower them. And that's what I want to say is, ah, <laughs> Bathroom additions. In addition to homes, many Navajo phone, uh, families will soon have access to basic plumbing, sanitary, accessible bathrooms in the near future. In October, I signed a $150 million contract with NECA to build 1,500 bathroom additions, not just bathroom additions. We want water, we want sewer, we want drain fill, we want to be connected to power. So that's what's inclusive of that $150 million. So 1,500 people all across Navajo, some of them in the most remote areas for the first time over the 
next couple of years will turn on water, be able to wash their face, have little kids know what it's like to shower, to be able to sanitize themselves. And so far this year, we've built 19. That's a great future, 19 of them. Last year, it was very difficult, but this past year, we built 19. We've started 34, and I, and I continue to challenge my team. I want that to be into the hundreds. So NECA is here today accepting applications for Navajo carpenters, plumbers, electricians, framers, roofers, whatever it may be. And I ask them as well to have competitive wages. Our journeyman carpenter should be making $26, $27 an hour, $21 an hour, $22, because that way they can provide for their families. They can build up their own homestead. So again, thank you for NECA for being here to take those applications. And then when it comes to homeowner assistance program, we've launched 55 million from Division of Social Services over to Na Native Home Capital. We've helped 17 Navajo families from losing their homes wherever they may be. And we have 200 applications in the process. 96 of them have been approved. That's over 100 families that took out a loan. Their grandmas and their grandpas probably told them, go get a mortgage. Have a home somewhere. Gallup, Farmington, Albuquerque, Phoenix, Salt Lake, wherever it may be. But they were about to, on the brink of losing their home. Through this initiative, our Navajo relatives, far and near, are not going to lose their homes. So yeah, to the Division of Social Services. Internet. Navajo is at the forefront of tackling the digital divide in Indian country. We recognize the critical importance of internet access, healthcare, public safety, ed economic development, and education. In my first year, I launched the Navajo Nation Digital Equity Initiative, which aims to bring 5G coverage to all chapters by 2030. It focuses on populated area, cultural sites, businesses, public facilities. A broadband czar was appointed to oversee a comprehensive plan that will leverage ARPA funds and other grants to build telecommunications infrastructure to enhance cybersecurity all across the Navajo Nation, advance 911 services. As part of this, this past year, we constructed 13.2 miles of middle mile fiber, connecting over 1,600 homes very soon in Rama, New Mexico. In Rama, we are now upgrading 40 towers to increase 4G capacity on Navajo. This will benefit 26,000 cell phone users, 10,000 homes across the Navajo Nation. Some communities will gain access 5G by the end of the year. Some of them might be till 2030, but most, some of them are gonna be this year. That's better than none. So thank you to the broadband team. Thank you to all of the stakeholders from the chapter level, to the Navajo Nation Council level, to the division director level, to my level. Thank you so much for always being focused. FirstNet, my administration saved 30 FirstNet towers at risk from falling through. Ah, see, yeah, go tati, no ba ah, why? They do zin, nobody not just allow ye in that nishigi, do do nisa hat no, ya e ya ha da hush do need. Hashet o do ho do nisa, salao ya a edi each the house, eh? Hajo hajo do nis, but the snow, na osh can't, oh, shanda nishigi, nzono chadeila, kade, kana, at hot ne? Out of the thirty, there's only a few left. And we're glad that those towers are first net equipped as we move along because we need fast, reliable communication for our public safety personnel. 
I promised to improve roads across the Navajo Nation. As a result, we establish strong relationships to New Mexico leadership, including the Department of Transportation Director, Governor Lujan, the new director here. And one of the first priorities, I didn't know the road too well until I, until I came into the office. The first couple of months, I would stay in a hotel and Gallup and make my way this way. And man, I, I got to know all the potholes from Gallup to Winter Rock. And man, swerving this way, there's times when I'd hit my head and I said, you know, there's gotta be something to do with this. We got so many people going back and forth. So through advocacy, teamwork, and collaboration, some of you have probably taken that road this morning and, you, and there was not too many problems. So again, that was one of the very first big initiatives on why we work with leadership in New Mexico and all leadership across the United, in the United States and the, the, the three states that we work with. So from here to, to Yatehe, I'm very happy. It's almost fully repaved. And thank you to our partners at New Mexico and our leaders for advocating. There's not much dodging for me now, so I kind of I kind of know how to go straight on that road. Uh, the other thing too that working with Governor Lujan and her team was that we work with uh, New Mexico DOT, and I've always seen it on the side of the road. It look like gravel, asphalt millings. So we partnered with them. So we've been collecting asphalt millings and we've been putting them on dirt roads on the New Mexico side, repurposing them and being sustainable. And that's what you call being creative and working with what you got. So thank you to New Mexico for allowing us to pick up those millings. And then the Washington office and NDOT, they were able to secure a $20 million grant under the US DOT raise program. So that's seven miles of N15 from Sunrise Springs to Cornfield, Arizona's will be constructed. And I know my people from Northern Navajo, you're gonna ask me about Sweetwater, so. Construction is gonna start this year, this month, and we're still gonna finish on time in November with NECA leading the way for this 5.8, five point miles of Sweetwater in 35, which is accounted for for 21 and a half million. And I'm very excited for our new director, Tom Platero. So I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful and hopeful that next year we can say we have our own gravel pit on the Navajo Nation that we open. Because during weather, weather time like this, we need gravel stored at all 110 chapters so that they can help their communities. So when it comes to public safety, E91, I recently signed a contract. So I'm gonna go a lot of English now because I'm, I'm running behind. So I'm gonna be going English, so bear with me. I recently signed $6.2 million contract in partnership with Public Safety Office to enhance a 20, to make a 20 year dream come true for E91 to broaden the digital divide here on Navajo. The system will use next gen 911 technology, a digital internet protocol that will replace analog to digital so that when dispatch call they'll know the exact location of our people and we'll be the only tribal nation in the country to have it and we will be the only nation in the four states to have it so we'll be leading the way in two and a half years I met with my team I told them by in two and a half years I want to pick up the phone I want to pick up the first 911 phone call and be able to know exactly where that phone call is coming from so thank you to public safety for making that happen Detention facilities. For more than three years, Windorock and Sherbrock struggled to find a place to for the arrested detainees for the closed facilities. So they're either shipped to Kienta or Crown Point. To solve this, Department of Corrections secured 3.6 million of ARPA to purchase two mobile detention centers in Windorock and in Sherbrock. And very soon, we're gonna have the sewer, water, and electrical connections so that they can be fully operational. As this, be, as this concludes over the next month, my, I'm gonna be laser focused on making sure that those two facilities open within the next month or two. High-tech law enforcement vehicles. We're also equipping 120 new law enforcement vehicles with geospatial technology to allow police officers to report on site and serve larger areas. So I know some of our police vehicles are 
200, 300,000, and you can barely make a phone call out of them. But the new ones will have technology, so we're not going to have those issues. So thank you to all the public safety people that are here today. We're always thinking of you. Yeah. <laughs> law enforcement recruitment and retention. We're working to improve the recruitment and retention of our law enforcement officers. My Washington team is working on a legislation that is before Congress, the Tribal Law Enforcement Act, which will allow tribal enforcement personnel to be able to get benefits on the federal level. Because I know that's one of the challenges that we've had with our law enforcement. Our benefits are not as good as the state, but if we get federal benefits, it will far exceed that, and that will take care of our first responders and our police officers. Ah, we there are social workers, they're the first people on site, and we gotta make sure we take care of them on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> Improve health care and social services. Through the Operation Rainbow Bridge project, we were able to tackle the health care fraud. We helped more than 180 Navajos. We have connected them to legitimate treatment centers and transported them to the right to families. Through this initiative, we were able to open the very first ever sober living center in Chinle, Arizona. <laughs> to help up to 10 of our relatives. And that's probably a lot of moms out there. Families that can get help a lot closer. Because a lot of our families <clears throat> don't want to make it to Flagstaff, to Phoenix, to Winslow. They want to be here on Navajo land. So this is only the beginning, and we look forward to opening many more, such as the Shiprock Behavioral Health Center, which will establish the detox and residential treatment centers also in Tuba City and Crown Point. Efforts to protect our Navajo women and girls from violence have ramped up. Substantial resources have been allocated to crisis investments. This year, I, this past year, 3.2 million was given to the Gentle Iron Hawk Shelter for the construction of two new domestic shelters and the transition of the Northern Tree House Shelter for the Navajo Nation Control. The Dene Action Plan is also in place to revitalize the holistic care we were able to give 3.2 million to the gentle iron hawk shelters that are probably helping families and children as we speak today. Our health department has successfully opened new wellness centers in Crown Point and Tuba City is on track to, to support additional centers in Shibrock and Kienta. This year is also a critical year for all of Indian country and Navajo country. The Indian Child Welfare Act in Holland v. Brackeen ensures the protection of Navajo children's right to foster care and adoption cases. We've updated agreements to verify ICWA eligibility sooner custody cases, expanded, in our, expanded our Arizona legal team to facilitate earlier interventions. Amendments are underway for the Children's Code to further strengthen ICWA framework. The Washington has on in the ye Human Resources and the ICWA program signed an inter interdivision agreement to make sure that information is transferred quicker. So that's what we've, we've been working on, to make sure that our kids are taken care of, that don't have a home, and to make sure that we keep them with our Navajo families. And also, this past year, our Navajo Nation Washington office, through their advocacy, they advocated day in, day out for, our, for RICA amendments, for our Navajo uranium uh, workers. 
Sadly, it's upsetting that the RECA amendments were removed, but I just want to say thank you to our uranium workers, our Chedon Hamasan, Setso Bindasos Nisto, Kininache, Sakana Nesdaron, Kitsis, and Ahot Igi, Chehede, Ahot Endik, Arzbada Hazen, Dian Kedene, Post 71, the Quigo, Shitada Dosnes, Esha, Hotot Nirigibinache, Washington Office, Bishas Anigi, Adat, and Adat, and a Tok Takedo Nidinje. Case, uranium workers <laughs> out of Empowering our local governments, responding to the wishes of the silent majority, we expressed the need to resume government operations. I took the steps to reopen and restore government operations. The people have faced significant hardships, which is why they elected me to provide consistent and efficient access to our services all across the Navajo Nation. My team is working to strengthen Title 26 to empower our chapters, enhance their ability to provide government services at the local level. So this year, I really look forward to working with the Navajo Nation Council to revitalize, revamp, and strengthen Title 26 so that we can bring local power, local autonomy to our local chapters so you can get help quicker. My team has a go had a goal of 43, had 43 chapters revitalize their land use plans. We've also empowered LGA certified chapters to become sub-grant recipients to enable them to use ARPA agreements. We've given the Navajo Nation Council passed laws that said, you know what, give us the authority, President, up to Na NABI and the, and the chapters. Wait, why does it have to go all the way to the President to sign off on these ARPA projects? Let's streamline the system. So I gave, signed off on legislation that said, you know what, chapters and council at NABI, figure out the projects. It doesn't need to come to me because I trust you and I believe in you. And also recently, I've been in the papers for vetoing a legislation on virtual quorum and voting at chapter meetings. I vetoed the legislation because, as, as explained in the legislation, I said, I don't see enough chapter resolutions. I don't see the agency council reports. So I'll make sure I will veto this because I, I'm sure what the chap, I don't know what the chapters are thinking. So I'm going to make sure I veto this until we really discuss it. And I'm really happy and excited that the Navajo Nation Council is entertaining the override because through this override, chapters are getting involved. The agency councils are getting involved. They're voicing their opinions that this is what we need for virtual attendance. We got to make sure I'm way out in um, low mountain. I don't have enough internet. Let's make sure there's money attached to it. Let's make sure there's resources attached to it. Let's make sure that our officials are there in person. So that's some of the discussions that are happening. So by vetoing that language, it wasn't just to say, you know, I, I'm not into virtual. Because as you can tell, I love my iPad. I love to make sure that we're up to the digital uh, spectrums of the world. So what I want to make sure is that we're prepared for some of the most remote areas of Navajo, and we do it the right way, and we have local input, and that's why I vetoed that legislation. And I'm happy it's going to be overridden, and I'm happy that there's going to be agency support, happy there's going to be chapter resolutions, and that's what making sure that our chapters are involved means. <clears throat> Improving our veteran services. The Navajo Veterans Administration has diligently responded to 151 housing requests from our veterans. The allocation of 50 million for ARPA funds presents a chance to numerous veterans so that they can one day have a home. I have established a sub-grant recipient agreement with Southwest Indian Foundation to facilitate and construct 20 homes ranging from one bedroom to three bedrooms at affordable prices. That's key. 
affordable prices. This organization is going to expand their facilities, and they're going to be able to provide a 1,200 square foot home, three bedroom, one bath, a kitchen, a living room, water, electricity, septic tank, drain fill, connected to the power for around $170,000. That is unheard of to get all of that all at once. So that's what we got to do at the same time. Invest in our own capacities, invest in our own resources so that the cost to our people is a lot more efficient. So thank you to SWIFT for their partnership and thank you to the Veteran Administration. And they started on, I believe, 10 this year. To date, the Navajo Veterans Trust Fund has funded construction of 114 homes with a total investment of 26 million. An additional 80 will be financed through the 50 million provided ARPA. We are prepared to start construction of 30 homes funded by the 4 million from the Hazda. 10 homes started in 2023. We have plans to begin 25 more homes by April. So that's 35 homes within the year. And I'm really excited for that. We're only gonna get better. That's what I'm excited about. To further support our veterans, we have employed now nine accredited veterans officers who are dedicated to processing an increased number of benefit claims. We also, that's right, nine of them, nine accredited people that we didn't have when I started. So nine of them are now working. We also establish a benefit center within the Chin Lee Clinic to enhance the accessibility of services for our veterans. To ensure our youth have the best education and training, I renewed an agreement with the University of Arizona's College of Law to increase the number of attorneys. I also signed the first ever MOU for veterinary medicine to increase the number of veterinarians available in our communities. In the coming weeks, we're going to sign an MOU with the ASU School of Social Work, which will include two additional social services program, because we need more social, social workers across the Navajo Nation. The ones that we have are overworked, and we look forward to building more leaders to help the Division of Social Services. One of the first things we did in the first quarter of my administration was to save $9 million. $9 million was at stake for the Workforce Development Funding Program. The community engagement representatives and our team wrote letters working with the Washington office, and they prevented $9 million from going back. And today, that money is being used for people who are seeking jobs in the trades. Invest in proper care and well-being of our elders. With the approval and the leadership of our Navajo Nation Council, they allocated $5 million to refurbish senior centers across the Navajo Nation. $5 million might seem like a lot, but when there's dozens and dozens of senior centers that need help, we need a lot more than $5 million. But we're working to do what we can to reopen them. And thank you to the council for allocating that money. Pablo Bentado will open very, very soon, and I might see you there, too. To enhance the mobility and access to essential workers, we've introduced 13 new vehicles in the New Mexico senior centers. Ah, uh, see, yeah, the suburbans, but there's a little bit senior centers. But then they'll get a chair, or must not see in the tato, a chin di da hot, and give it not to see, chin da hot, a chin or the bitch in Honda, and give a hair, and get in the list. New Mexico, I just get on, and give. Addressing the needs of our people with disabilities, we embarked on the $13.3 million initiated by the previous council to ensure the ADA compliance of our tribal, 164 tribal buildings meet those codes. 13 million might seem like a lot, but it's not enough 
to fix all of our buildings, but we will do what we can to make some of them have accessible, uh, accessible and make sure that they're safer. So that project will come to conclusion by April of this year, and we have already begun in seven locations in Chinle, Arizona as well. And this brings me up to the next point. I'm glad that our some of our delegates and our leaderships are here. I always tell people that come visit me, don't just come to me. Come to our delegates as well. Chit chat with them. Talk to them because they're the legislators. They're the lawmakers. They're the ones that allocate a lot of the monies. So go to them, lobby them, talk to them, and then finally you'll come my way. But one of the things I'm pleading with the Navajo Nation Council this year is let's allocate so the U.S. government did a buy infrastructure infrastructure law. We should also entertain a $500 million investment in our nation as well so that there'll be jobs, so our facilities be can upgraded, so that the senior centers, the head starts, and the facilities all across the Navajo Nation are revamped. And that's what I encourage and I challenge and I look forward to seeing where that comes from. So again, imagine one year from now if Navajo Nation Council approved a $500 million package to upgrade our facilities and just how many thousands of our Navajo people will be working here back home. We need to upgrade or expand our facilities because it's needed, needed, needed to ensure that we continue to be the trendsetters in Indian country. Oh, bonds, this case. Support our farmers and our ranchers. By the way of the Agriculture Infrastructure Fund, we have been able to help our farmers, our ranchers, and our agriculturalists. Our livestock management program supported 570 ranchers during the ongoing drought situation. That's 570 families we've helped across Navajo country. Our farm and garden initiative program benefited 523 farmers. That's farmers includes families. Ehoto, financial assistance for production of food and crops to promote food sovereignty. The nation was awarded $5.5 million from the USDA Local Food Purchase Assistance Program. The Washington office submitted that application program and that's gonna be administrated by one of our own partners, one of our own enterprises, NAPI. And this will include giving out food to our community. That will include potatoes, beans, and flowers this coming year. So be prepared for NAPI to give out $5.5 million worth of potatoes, beans, and flowers to our families. And thank you to the Washington office to making sure that we look for money. And that's one of the things I always encourage my team is be creative. There's dollars out there. Look around. And then working with our enterprises. And I'm glad to see Intech as well here. Too. So thank you to Nappy for, for making that happen this year. And let's make sure you guys all get some potatoes, beans, and flowers, OK? <laughs> Improve efficiencies of tribal programs and offices. My administration has addressed a wide range of employment issues. We want to hire Navajos because this contributes directly to the improvement and the quality of life of our people here on the Navajo Nation. The never Washington, I see Yego, Nanish Lampe, the Hadlong, Halet, Ola, Danish, the Nebuch, Hoda, the Lithano, Behaz, Ani, Luban, the Hunt, no, Ya, Shisha, all the Ya, Yadan, not Ani, Shidi, Shohe, that Nil, eh, Esmas, unhesy committee between the deal, Nish, Din, Nidigo, Nzgonogo, Satna, Behaz, Ani, in this cause, eh, provisional hiring process, Tishne, with the help and the work of Division of Human Resources, HESI, the Navajo Nation Council, we were able to push provisional hiring process so that we can hire people a lot quicker. So since May of 2023, we hired nearly 200 people to the Navajo Nation government. Our latest unemployment rate is 
and we're, we should see that change in 2024, and I'm looking forward to it as well. As we come to a conclusion, we all have the responsibility to ensure things are better than when we, when we showed up. As I look forward to continuing to work with, to work with the Navajo Nation Council to improve the lives of the Navajo people. As president, I'm only as good as the relationship that I have with the Navajo Nation Council. So I have done everything possible to make sure that I never take anything personal because I think of all you guys the families, the relatives, no water, no electricity, nowhere to go, sitting at home, don't have hope, you've lost your relatives. I think of you when things get a little personal. I think, you know what? So I use that to work with our Navajo Nation Council. Let's stay focused on the challenges ahead. Let's stay focused on the things that our people need on a day-to-day -day basis. As I'm speaking to you today, I know there's families out there that are having a tough time, they're cold, <coughs> they need food, they're hungry, and that's why we're here as leaders. We put that at the forefront. And I just want to say thank you to the Navajo Nation Council for one year of collaboration. We've had leadership meetings twice now. That's never happened. We have a monthly leadership meeting. We're going to have another one at the end of the month because we all care about all of you listening on the radio, listening on the feeds. Every single day, we're challenged with such a tremendous task. I'm on, I'm, I'm on team Navajo Nation leadership. I don't want to ever think of myself, Navajo Nation Council, the Office of the President. We're team Navajo Nation leadership, and we're up against the odds. We started a game 50 points behind, and we cannot lose, so we have to work together no matter what. I recall the words I spoke on January 10th, 2023. Faithfully execute the office of the president and do so to the best of my ability to preserve, protect, defend the laws of the government of the Navajo Nation and to advance the interests of the Navajo people. In the spirit of those words, I call upon our branch chiefs to develop and reform our justice system. An effective justice system is dependent on the exercising our respective powers to the fullest extent. One branch makes the laws, one executes the laws, and the other interprets the laws. If one branch fails, we all fail. And I'm happy that the Chief Justice, and I've got a great relationship with the Speaker of the Nomination Council, we continue to support one another on the three branch level because we are one nation, one Navajo nation, and we will always work in your best interest to elevate the Navajo nation. Our people have shared concerns about the negative or unresponsive attitudes from some of our tribal employees. In the coming weeks, I will issue an executive order focusing on various approaches, including training to foster a friendlier, helpful, and resourceful culture. I'm only as good as my employees, and you guys are the customers that are listening. So in the coming weeks, I want to initiate a customer service training program that's mandatory for our Navajo Nation employees so that they can elevate themselves to better serve our Navajo people. 
And thank you to all Navajo Nation employees across. Again, I'm only as good as you guys. So yeah, and we're always working to improve ourselves. And I, I work on that as well. So finally, I was ready to say something, but uh, I might tell my age. I was thinking of WWE. Finally, some of you will probably get it. I'm proud to announce that today I'm signing an executive order that identifies barriers in hiring and retention processes and to seek, all right, baby water. That's what I need. One more time, man. Finally, I am proud to announce that today I am signing an executive order that identifies barriers in our hiring and retention processes and this will seek to address the hiring and employment challenges. So you'll join me in here in a few moments, this executive order, because I've heard stories, even as of last week, my child just has a bachelor's degree from NAU, from U of A, from UNM. She applied many times. What's going on? She doesn't mind cleaning the bathroom. She doesn't mind cleaning the windows, but she's told she can't. Some people just want a job. And we should not hold our people from wanting a job. So I'm hoping this executive order will open those opportunities for people that want to work. And again, I wasn't able to present all the accomplishments this year. But I'm very happy that you guys will be here the rest of the day. Our division directors over the next few hours, they're going to deliver all the highlights and all the accomplishments over the next few hours of everything they've done in a five minute stint. So again, I wasn't able to cover it all, but thank you for being here today. I thank you for allowing me to serve as your Navajo Nation president. God bless the Navajo people and God bless our great Navajo Nation.